It's weird. That sucks. What's going on, ladies and gents? We were here for T3G along with Full Throttle, and we're doing our uh, weekly TV show roundup. And uh, figure we'll kick it off with Walking Dead. Yeah, it was a uh, it was a decent like uh, build up episode, I guess. Yeah, I would call it for this next episode. So I'm. Uh, I don't know. I enjoyed it overall. It kind of see, you know, obviously Rick now second guessing almost anybody that comes up to the group, which, which is, is good, which I think is smart. Which is obviously you gotta, you gotta give him the credit that he's done that because. Let's face it. There's been at least three instances he's trust somebody yeah. <laughs> and he's gotten screwed over. So right. Uh, that plus uh, what happened with Beth. Uh, obviously seeing that group be almost the same as everything else that they've met up along the way so I can see why he would uh, hesitate and maybe want to punch people and, and, and shoot them. <laughs> he knocked him the hell out. He BAM! But it, overall I mean I thought it was a pretty good episode. I uh, I enjoyed it. Yeah it was a good episode. I, I don't know it was kind of slow. It, it's been a fairly slow season overall besides like two episodes where it was just super crazy it's been pretty slow for me, because um, even even after after the after they left Terminus, so like the first episode, you had some action. They left Terminus, and then it was kind of slow. And then they found the guys like three four episodes later, and that was kind of an exciting episode. But then like it's just kind of been meh, and then Beth died, which again it wasn't a really exciting episode. It just had like a really pivotal moment. I see where you get him from, but like I don't know. Um, there's definitely been a lot of busyness in the first half, I think, because like you have. The I mean, definitely part, in the first half. You have the whole part where the Terminus guys, not the ones that didn't die, they show up, they cause right. issues. Uh, there's been, I mean, in my opinion, there's been plenty of stuff going on mm -hmm. in this season. Uh, I would say this is the first episode that feels like it's just a like a filler episode. Yeah, I, w I would agree with you. Even though they had some stuff that happened with with uh, the encounter with the walkers in on the you know the street, and right? We got the car all bloody. And I mean, we still saw walkers. We still saw. Yeah, I mean, you, you still saw a good amount of stuff. It was just kind of. I mean, they drove a car through a. a that's a, what I'm saying. A, a field of zombies. Yeah, that was that was kind of nuts. Um, I don't know. To me, that was a bit. It it was kind of on. It, it, it's hard to believe that moment because. Driving, he looks back. Just for that second, he looks back, and now there's a field of them. Like, you didn't see any of them? Well, maybe it was foggy, and we just didn't see that. Ah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That was kind of, I don't know, that was a little poorly executed for my taste. Because he was only, he, lo he only looked back for a second. Because he looked over to, to, to Rick, right. and he looked back on the road, and then he turned around, and he asked the question, and then all of a sudden... Field of walkers. Right, and it was right, kind right. of I don't know. It was a little forced, but it was a cool, it was a cool scene. It was cool to see. Yeah, and and it was kind of funny because they for whatever reason, walkers just like splatter into so many pieces that just disable vehicles. Well, <laughs> yeah, but I mean we've seen this already. I mean what you can say? Like, like, pull a scalp off a zombie clearly just by just touching them. Yeah. So. Uh, them exploding like that was makes sense, I guess. Or just interesting, very interesting how they executed that. I like when they stopped and tried to pull the pull the arms out of the yeah. of the just underneath. Yeah. Apparently, the them zombies out. get jammed inside the yeah. head of a car that's not that's not open. That's not open. <laughs> but I mean, it's still it was still overall. I, I enjoyed that episode. Can't wait to see what happens. There was in the some. Next what, one. what was the other thing they were doing that that just didn't make any sense? Um... It might have been. It might have been uh, last time. Oh, with the battery, the whole battery. Because this is where. where uh, well, this is this is one of those moments where you know it kind of like uh, is like a, you know like a nod towards Dale and what he's learned since Dale. Uh, right. When they had. The, and that was cool, and I liked that the whole RV. The, the RV thing. But my problem was that he said that the battery was bad, and right. that's why the car stopped. Right. You, you can drive a car without a battery. You can't turn on a car without a battery. But you can run on the alternator. <laughs> you can have a dead I mean, battery. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why I was like, wait, wait, what do you mean it's a bad battery? I'm like, you could you could have said anything else. I would have been fine with it. Well, like, I don't know. It was just kind of a, like a funny thing to me. So I'm like, I know that much. Like, I know for a fact that you could, because I happened to do that yesterday with my car. 
you can drive a car without a battery. So it, it's one of those things that it was just kind of like a, that's eh, not true, but all right, I'm going to let you have that. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, yeah, otherwise, I don't know. I enjoyed the episode. It did a good build up. I want to see what happens in the next one. I hope the next one isn't them in this town and trying to figure it out the whole time. That's all it's going to be. You know I it mean, is. I mean, I know it is, but I was, I'm was. i hoping that it's They're going to try to figure it out. They're going to see if there's anything Cause then this is, this is Then this would be the biggest filler episode they would have. If I mean, happens. I don't know if it's filler. I like the, the concept that when he pulled up, he heard children, which is good. So does this mean... Now they show up to this town, and let's say they decide to stay. Does this mean no more Washington, even though Washington was in the sights? Because they're right there, and they had a car. Yeah? Yeah, they're not far from Washington. They're right. maybe three hours out of Washington, if right. that. I don't know. Yeah, right? I don't know. Yeah, so we'll see. But I'm, I'm excited. I want to see what happens. I want to see who these people are and mm -hmm. what they really are. And, uh, you know, are they another terminus, or are they another hospital or whatever i i don't think they're anything because like that was that, the big thing that's why he asked her that you know when you when you pulled up to i always forget the name of that town the governor's town the governor's town that's yeah what so I'm when you pull up to the governor's town what'd you hear nothing what'd you hear when you pulled up to to what was the other place terminus terminus nothing, nothing. and so when he pulled up and he pulled, rolled down the windows for a second i didn't know what the hell he was doing and then, like the kid, and then you heard the kids, and I was like, oh, yeah. I see what you did there. Because yeah. Yeah. he's like, if you'd have heard nothing, he'd have turned right around. <laughs> and that's and that was cool. Although the trailer's kind of deceiving, because they were kind of showing it as in, like, there's nobody there. But if you watch The Talking Dead, you'll right. see a, uh, they showed a sneak peek clip. And, and there were people. And, and there are people. Like, uh, there's a whole new guy that tells Rick that he needs to turn over the weapons, and then that he's going to see this girl that's in charge. So, there clearly are people. It's just... We'll see what it's supposed to be. Yeah, that should be interesting. And that is the only stuff that was important in that episode. Let's talk about Agent Carter. Yeah, let's talk about <laughs> Um, I thought it was alright. Uh, clearly, they're not doing this as a mini series, and this is well, coming back for another season. I mean, that was that was so annoying because like the day before that aired, mini series. It, it, it straight saw, up said mini series. I There's saw. No doubt about I it. saw. Yeah, originally, originally that series was supposed to be mini series. Like even on the commercials, they were like Agent Carter mini series. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then, like a day before the last episode aired, the director or one of the producers said, "Oh, we never envisioned this as a mini series. There's definitely a possibility of a season two, and it also might not be limited to eight episodes. And, and so, like, there's just gonna be another show. Obviously, Marvel has done reshoots for movies, so they know how to change their mind, but." I was kind of hoping for something like this, where they had time to figure mm -hmm. out if they want more seasons. You know, not last minute seeing, oh, maybe it's doing really decent. So right, right. let's go ahead and extend it for another another season. I was kind of hoping that wouldn't happen. You know, they, they kind of, you know, stick to what they originally said. But it definitely looks like there might be a season two. Because I don't feel like, even though it was a decent ending, mm -hmm. I don't feel like that was a good ending to a mini series. Sure. So, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of feel like I think so. I think it was a good ending for that story arc. So now they did execute that Stark is now back into good graces, which was so fast. Yeah, yeah. Like, it took one episode. Of he came seconds. back and he's like, "Listen, listen. Here's the situation. I'm back. Now you have to put me out as bait. Also, while in that process, you have to pardon me of all my wrongdoings publicly. And I'm a hero. Yeah, and, and I'm a, a hero. Brilliant. Like, I love <laughs> how he was stand, telling him we, what he's to like, say he's like, in we front stand, of the media. Like, we stand in awe of his brilliance. <laughs> and he's like, we stand in awe. Tony Stark here. <laughs> Howard Stark. Oh, uh, Howard Stark. Tony Whatever. He's not born yet. Um, but but yeah, yeah, it was, I mean, overall, it was a... Uh, it was a good. Uh, it shows me how dumb Shield agents really are, because they should have shot that chick like five times in this episode. Well, those weren't Shield agents. Shield agents would have shot her. Uh, I'm just saying, pre Shield Shield agents, like clearly. Well, they're not though. They're not even pre Shield Shield agents. They're. It's just following her because she's gonna be part of Shield, but they don't call the rest of them. Right. They call them what S R. SSR or SRS or something like that or whatever. Special scientific research, something like that. Right, SSR. so like, uh, but regardless, I mean, okay, as a government secret agency, they're idiots. Like, it shows me their stupidity. Yeah, they're, they're not. This chick has already kicked their ass in a previous episode. And you nobody, shoot, still, still, still nobody shot her. And like, 
knowing that this guy Although, can talk to you and make you do like but Sousa, yourself. But Sousa something. did that. Well, yeah. That Sousa was, handled that. That was awesome. I, I thought that was a great redeeming moment. For yeah, him. absolutely. I thought that was a great redeeming moment, but even so, I still shoot the guy. Right, yeah. I don't he, think twice. Like, you just you just watched oh, your captain sorry, jump out a window because what that guy did. Mm -hmm. You still shoot. I don't know. Maybe I'm just a very violent person, but at right. some point, at some point, you stop trying to apprehend and you just start yep. like it, you, you need to end your at madness. At some point, yeah, it's, you need to finish the situation. Although I did, I, I want to say I expected a little more out of Tony Stark. I feel like for Tony, no, I did Stark. it. Howard Look Stark. No, I did it. Tony's not born yet. That's right, <laughs> Howard Stark. I expected a little more only because. I know the guy is supposed to be able to manipulate you by talking to you and you know spinning his ring, but I feel like Howard would have had something known how to counter that. I don't know. Maybe I don't know. I, I think, don't know. I think maybe Howard's, I'm expecting too I think, much out of Howard. I think Howard's ego is bigger than Tony's. The well, way they're the way bigger than Tony's will be. Right, 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 right. Uh, You know, I think Howard's ego is so big. Seems like it. I think Howard's ego is so big that he he can't. His ego is like he big. can't envision failing. Yeah, no. so he can't envision anyone t having the upper hand on him. No, definitely. Yeah, so. his his ego is definitely on. Uh, I thought Tony's was bad, but yeah, this this his they, dad they, clearly they was wrote, on a different wrote, level. <laughs> they wrote they wrote this whole thing really really well. Um, I wish they had ended it. I wish this ended literally with the appointment of a new chief, which would have then been maybe a couple months before the you know the 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 short movie that they did, the one shot, right. which sets up Shield. Um, but if they do, if they do end up making a second season, I hope that it ends with the creation of Shield, and then we can just call it. Because I think past that, you're really you're really just stretching pushing a story. Lot of, that yeah, you're really be getting a lot out of it when, like, then it's just two shows about the same thing, right? Like Agents of Shield here, you know, Agent Carter of Shield, and. Uh, and and somehow like you're like trying to legitimize right. one or the other with the other one. Yeah, no, absolutely, so, I agree. I mean, if they do another season, I hope it's just another season, yeah. mini series, like mini season, eight episodes again or whatever it was, and just end it and like finish it. Yeah, don't continue to another season. It's just there's no point. You're stretching a story that doesn't need to be stretched. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, that's Gotham. Funny. Once again, Gotham proves that they can't do anything without Bruce Wayne. <laughs> Even though I enjoyed, I enjoyed Gordon's uh, detective work on this episode for the Red mm -hmm. Hood. Uh, it just it 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 just shows me how important Bruce's life and like I loved Alfred's uh, buddy from War. That was great. Uh, I I loved that. That was great. I liked at the end. They spin it that it, he's working for the company and trying to. They're trying to get rid of Bruce. That was nuts. Uh, I, I didn't see that coming. I I like the fact that Alfred's gonna have some more uh, uh, war wounds. I guess is being stabbed. Um, so I don't know. I once again, it just Gotham shows why they can't be just Gotham before Batman. Uh, they, right, they yeah. Have to have, they have to have Bruce and his story. Right, and, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong we've with already, it. We've already no, said absolutely. it. If you're going to roll with that, roll with it. But I like the fact that you had um, you had the, the, the Red Hood thing was fantastic. Right. I love it. I love how it transferred from one to the next. It was just kind of a, oh, here you go, like... I'm going to be the guy, and this thing's a symbol. And he's like, all right, now you're talking too much. Shoots him, takes the Red Hood, and he's like, you yeah, know what, he's yeah. right, let's do this. Now I'm the Red Hood, and it's right. like, hey, 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 I need that. Shoots him. You know, it's just kind of this continuous thing. And then at the end, that like random kid right. gets it. And I'm like, all right, well, that kid's going to be a criminal. And I think, like, they should kind of sprinkle in the Red Hood once in a while. Just not, not very important, just like a side story yeah. of... Here's here's like oh this crime was committed yeah. by the Red Hood yeah, and like now he's should. gone again. I think they should absolutely. Uh, I I want to point point out two things that I didn't care for this episode. One, Barbara Gordon, thanks for being there for not being there. Whatever you did there, <laughs> that was and, so dumb. And and number two, uh, uh, Fish Mooney ripping her eye out because that that's that's a thing. That was crazy, but that's just I I want Fish Mooney gone. I want Barbara Gordon gone. I liked the fact that Barbara Gordon last episode we didn't talk about this last time. Yeah, last didn't. episode she walked in on uh, on uh, Gordon and um, Leslie. I always forget her last name, but uh, Jim and, and Leslie making out at the precinct. And she was all done up to the nines, and she walks in and she's like, "Oh, 
snap, like, he's moving on. Right. So then she leaves, and now she's hanging out with two delinquent teenagers, which is kind of weird in its own sense. Yeah. And she kind of, I don't know if it was kind of creepy that since she is um, bi, I guess, uh, that she was kind of... She's kind of showing some attraction towards Selena. I don't even know if I can say that. It's just uh, kind of a weird moment for me. But she was like, oh, like, you're so pretty. You're so beautiful. You need to use that to your advantage. Use it as a weapon. Right. And she's like, what's it done for you? Right. And I was like, oh, shit. I, I think that was really... I don't think it was just any kind of... I don't think it was an attraction. I think she was just trying to, like... She give, her, sees like, this, give her advice. She sees sure. this girl... I like, dude, you're a loser. You can't give advice. Like, uh, she she clearly sees this girl that's, you know, living in somebody else's home that's normally on the street. So mm -hmm. she figures, oh, I can give you some advice. But clearly, nobody cares about this character. This character is so poorly written. If you if you take those two characters out, I'm not even talking about... Like, if she story. just didn't show up in the next every episode, nobody mm -hmm. would care. That's not how poorly all. written this all. character is. I think... I think I understand why Fishman is still there. I think Jada Pinkett Smith has a contract. Oh, and, I'm pretty uh, sure she and, has a contract. But here's the thing. She just, she just busted out her eye, which, while a cool scene, it was a little brutal for me. Well, um, we'll, we'll, now we'll see where that Fish, goes. Fish Mooney will see her now even more badass because she'll have an eye patch. Yeah, now she'll be an eye patch, and now it's all here. Yeah, now she's going to be super badass. But here's the thing. I don't care. I, I, yeah, not I even a little, not not even even little, little bit. bit. You know what I care about? about? You know what I she's care like, about? She's trying to be like, oh, I mean, I'm here. This is my, my, my rules for right? what you're going to do. Well, this is what you're going to do for me. this uh, uh, prison basement. Yeah, like, prison basement. I don't know where I am, but I'm, I'm, rule, I'm running the show. Like, no, you're not. You're not running the show because you don't know where you are. You obviously you're not even talking to the guy in charge. What's she gonna do? Poke out another eye? Right. <laughs> yeah. And it, it was just it was too much. I hope she dies at the end of the season. Just so if they do do a second season, we don't have to deal with her. I her, agree. her and Barbara Gordon. Just X them. Make this your own Gotham slash the Batman. The problem universe. I see with Barbara Gordon doesn't she have to be or not have to, but I mean, isn't she part of Jim's life? I mean, the, he he has he a wife and right. has a baby. Right. If you follow the Nolan storylines, he has a boy, which is weird. Right, right. But, I mean, that girl has to show up at some point. Pre again, presuming that we get to that. But, right. you know, if we're going in that direction, there has to be a marriage. But I think, since you're writing him with Leslie now, they're a great pairing. There's no reason not to have them stay right, together. Like, I she can be the, the wife. There's I nothing wrong you. with that. Like, make oh, yeah, this, I mean, it, like it you've is, already done they, so many things right. apart from the original storylines. Right. There's they no clearly, reason to keep, keep Barbara well, Gordon around. Yeah, absolutely. I think I, I have to agree with you on that since they clearly have already done so many things that mm -hmm. don't make sense. Although, I don't know if you find it funny, but we haven't seen Barbara's uh, uh, lesbian lover since the episode. <laughs> I like how you phrase that. Hey, man, I'm just saying because she has lovers. I'm Montoya. Just, Montoya, yeah. We haven't seen Montoya. We haven't seen haven't Montoya or Alan. Since uh, the episode it, where they were yeah, in bed Christmas. together. We haven't seen Montoya or Alan uh, yeah. since that I episode. wonder if they were like, maybe we, maybe, like, I wonder if they're like, maybe we use Montoya too, so maybe we just wrote her wrong. <laughs> I wonder, well, I mean, I don't know, I that, they, what's going I don't know that they wrote her wrong. Um, Montoya is, has been, from what I can tell, from what I've read of Montoya, right. she's pretty much characterized the way she is. No, no, not, not that. I mean, like, I feel like... You know, you in the you, timeline. You yeah, mean? the timeline. It's wrong for her. Um, I mean, it, it could be that could be a possibility. I wonder if that's. But what's I also going think on. that because a lot of, including like the, the lieutenant is now on Gordon's side, they're I trying guess, to clean yeah, up the, the department because they're IA. They're. You know, uh, I guess that's true. Yeah, I can. See they're that. kind of or no, what, what, they're MCU. They're major crimes. Right, right, right. Um, but I think once we get more of, and again, this is where. I think that the shift needs to happen is if once we get more, more of the criminal underworld cases, mm -hmm. you know, when we deal more with Falcone, we deal more with uh, Moroni, well, we'll deal more with sure. MCU because that's what they do. Well, here's the thing, I. Right now, I, I just want to see what happens with Bruce and his company. <laughs> that's like I'm saying that's that, so that, good. I now. didn't see that coming even a little bit. No, me neither. That's so good now. Like at first, when he went to the company, I was like, okay, so he's just threatening some heads of the company. Yeah, but now they but sent like, some they dude. straight up sent some dude that probably had had uh, uh, was hired if he had to kill Bruce Wayne. Right. Like 
uh, the way they rep, the way they presented at the end of the episode. Sure, where he's like, listen, like he's he not really not just, that much of a threat. Right, he's he was got not some just there stuff, to collect data. Fine. He clearly was there if he had to to put down Bruce. He would have. Yeah, so, yeah. He's no, if he's because he said he's no threat to you. So although I I, Alfred comes back. I mean, I guess Alfred wouldn't... I mean, he's not a detective, so he's not really going to pursue the guy, but he'll just figure that he, you know, ran off with a bunch of right stuff. So, I mean, but I really want... I, I want to see more of that. Now, I just... Like, that's what I care about Gotham right now. I want to see more <laughs> of that. <laughs> Sorry, Gordon. <laughs> um, like, I like the Jim Gordon character. Yeah, I like absolutely. the stuff that he deals absolutely. with. I think, if again, if they eliminated all these little side characters that you were just... You just don't need on the show... I think it would be a great show. It, it could be about Jim Gordon, because it really is. It, 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 at its core, it's a show about Jim Gordon, Bruce Wayne, and the mob, and kind of how that all works together. Right, right. Because obviously, Cause like, uh, they're clearly pointing towards the direction that the mob might have something to do with the Wayne's murder. The Wayne's uh, murder, the, the, which the wouldn't Wayne be surprising the with, with the way this last episode was. Wouldn't be surprising if the mob was either working for the Wayne. Uh, uh, what are they? Uh, the company? Oh, the board. The board. Thank you. Uh, either the board or the board approached the mob and said, "Hey, you know, we'll be in your dad if you do this." So I don't know. Yeah, like we we want we want to control this company. We don't want them putting their little goody two shoes nonsense in. Because that's that was the big thing is that Thomas and Martha Wayne were meant to, you know they were acting to change Gotham. Oh uh, right, absolutely. And, you know, I'm sure these people all have deep pockets and clearly have, have clearly. money from other they people. They weren't worried about hiring somebody to right. possibly so kill Bruce Wayne. That that could be it. But, but yeah. I think it was a good episode overall. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, that. I enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. Especially, especially the, like I said, I absolutely enjoyed the episode, especially when Bruce Wayne's out. <laughs> right. So, you know, figure that out. Creators of Gotham, Fox. Yeah, get on that. I don't think Fox really has to do anything with that. No. They just bring the show out. So, creators of Gotham, figure Please. that out. Please, give Fox a reason to keep the show on. Yeah, right. Um, but next, going on next, so we didn't have Flash this There was no Flash, which was really we, annoying. Which we don't have until the 17th. And there's really no reason why we don't have Flash, so... <laughs> yeah. I guess, you know... It's just, just a hiatus. Just like, hey, we're just going to hold it off until later. Yeah. May, unless they're trying to set up... Because, again, uh, previously I mentioned that I saw a picture online of the Atom suit in the same place as the Flash suit on the same gurney kind of thing, which makes me think it's at it's at Star Labs. Right. Which makes me think that towards the end of the season, because of that crossover... Well, there's a rumor going on that there is a cro another crossover. Even though they said there was going to be one crossover every season, uh, there is a rumor that there is another crossover being filmed. Right. Right now. And, it might, so. and again, it might not be... Arrow and Flash, right, but could like be Adam Paul, Palmer right, could sure. go over there because they're talking about making Palmer its own show, so they probably will give it some more spotlight. Right. So yeah, I can see that. But as far as Arrow goes, I liked this episode a lot. Yeah. Um, I yeah. It was a well, good. Episode. Uh, I want to kind of put it. I want to put a little. I feel like they wrote like Merlin was such a badass. Uh -huh. And then all of a sudden, he seemed like such a pansy in this one. Like, he was so scared. I mean, I get it. He he understands what Ra's al Ghul means and, and what he can do to him. I understand that. But, like, he, Merlin was afraid of nothing. Like, it didn't matter even if he stood in front of death itself. Right, but he, but even up till now, Merlin's been talking about how he's afraid of Ra's al Ghul. Well, no, I understand that. But it's just, like, to see him... I don't know. Just to see him freak out like that, start screaming, saying, don't kill me. Like, dude, you've been, like, literally, like, Arrow, the only reason he didn't kill him is because he took the arrow the right way. Otherwise, like, Green Arrow would have killed him. So it's, I don't think he has an issue with that, so I don't know why he would, like, scream out, don't, you know, like, I want to be your... I mean, you know what? I want to be your horseman again. Don't kill me. I mean, it's. I think at some point, once you're faced with your mortality, especially if it's at the hands of somebody who, I guess, poses already, a bigger threat. Yeah, you've already present, like you've already shown a fear of. I think you're you're gonna try to get in that person's good graces, especially after what they did to him after that. You know. True. True. Yeah. Because yeah, he, he probably yeah, knew he was that there, it there. wasn't just gonna be a knife to the throat. No, it was gonna yeah, be definitely torture, some kind of torture. Brutal torture. Right. So, um, and that's what he got. <laughs> 
I do like uh, a few things. One, uh, we saw Adam's suit. Uh, it's not a clear face. Uh, at the end of the episode, he yeah, does. Which was weird. Yeah, huh? Which was weird, but I. Yeah, it's not a clear face. Like they were. So he showing is going to have a secret identity? Which, I mean, I'm okay with. I can understand. Yeah, I mean, but like at some point, somebody's like, going to be like, walking down this. Billionaire Ray Palmer is uh, this new hero that's going to be, uh, well, we don't like vigilantes, so we're going to go ahead and arrest this billionaire. Well, so. here's the thing. I don't know. Here's the thing, man. At some point, somebody's going to be walking down the street in Starling City. Well, Star City now, I'm sure. Uh, so he's going to be walking down the street, and we look up at Palmer and Palmer Technologies and be like, is that the Adam? Is that like, <laughs> Is he coming out of the main office? <laughs> well, I'm sure he'll figure that out. Clearly, he has the money to figure I'm saying, that out. Just, Although, I thought it was really cool. Uh, I, almost, I almost thought I was... I'm, I'm going to do this, but I almost thought I was seeing uh, Iron Man there at the oh, end. Oh, absolutely. Oh, my God. They stole so much Iron Man stuff from it. Like, as soon as it came together, there's a little spin on yeah. the side. I was like, that's Iron Man. That's 100% Iron Although Man. Although, he handled that way better than Tony Stark. He flew like a champ on his oh, first yeah. try. He's like, first try... <laughs> Golden, <laughs> but I thought I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I was happy to see the suit. I enjoyed it. I thought uh, it was finally time uh, to put that in because he's been working on this for mm -hmm. what the whole season now. Right, and Since then finally, the so I, I hope I hope they let Felicity Snow be the girlfriend for him. Yeah, absolutely. Because like I said, I don't care for Felicity being with Oliver. I, yeah. I would prefer well, I mean, she's already to be with Oliver. So. Although that moment, that moment was rough when uh, when Laura looked at him and said, "I don't, I can't remember the moment where I loved you." I was like, <sighs> "Yeah, that's, that's harsh, man." Right. But that, you know, that's just her being angry, and uh, we see that a lot with uh, with her in this in this series. That's true. Laura Laura does have her extreme moments. Extreme. She does. She does extreme. go right auto automatically. She goes to the far end of every spectrum. Oh, absolutely! Like she's never been just a little upset. She's always been yeah. extremely I'm, upset. But I'm depressed. Drugs, alcoholic. Next episode, <laughs> like two weeks later, just in the deepest possible depression. Drugs, alcohol, everything. Like, oh, my sister died. I'm gonna fight crime. <laughs> like, it's not even. Right. Like, <laughs> not even next episode. Like, uh, fight, you I'm... are not dealing with your emotions properly. <laughs> um, but um, I'm trying to think because uh, they were showing um, in the preview. Obviously, that's going to be now on the 18th. So next next week we yeah, are, so even we that's have on high two ice. less uh, episodes next week to review. Yeah, but um, they were showing uh, uh, the Lazarus Pit. Oh, uh, it basically, uh, well, Rage cuts himself and then puts his hand in water. So I'm assuming that's the pit, and that's that. So I'm happy. I can I'm see. Glad I can see that, that because he he said something. <sighs> That automatically validated the existence of the Lazarus Pit for me, because he said in in eighteen thirty nine or whatever, he's been I met this forever. dude, yeah, he's been and then thirty forever. years later, I met him, and he was ancient. Right, and I'm like, okay, so Lazarus Pit. Yeah, like, there's no other option absolutely. at this point. No, I mean they have to play that. They have to go with it. I mean, you introduce race, you don't you don't change that out of the story. Like you, I'm, I'm and and I'm glad that he said race. Did he say race? He said race. He said it. He said it himself. Can't nobody fight me on this anymore. It's Rachel Ghoul. And then he says, I want you to be the next Rachel Ghoul. Dude, that was crazy. Which is also super Batman related, because well, they really stole they stole like eighty percent of the whole Rachel Ghoul thing from the Batman storyline. Because he's like, I want you to take over for me. And I was like, Sorry. There's a thing online that's going on right now where the guy yeah, the Green Arrow yeah. standing and Batman sitting down and a Batman. He's like, here's a giant. It's like joke here's your here's your origin, <laughs> and then here's your TV origin. I guess the TV, I guess the the producers didn't think that was cool enough, so they changed it and, and threw you some of my shittier villains. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was great. It was great. But yeah. I mean, overall, um, I don't care that. Uh, Rach approached him and saying you can be the next next Rasha goal. I really don't care for that. That part of it was like, it makes sense though. It makes sense I, it, because I they're guess. because they're playing it like the Batman story. I mean, he was the you know the detective was right. meant to be the the next guy. So that was uh, that was definitely I, I saw that coming. I think it's going to be interesting now because Nissa is definitely going to want that spot because that True. was the whole thing. Because he even because Merlin even said it. Merlin. <laughs> This whole video is done. Madness. Done. Because Merlin We're even, starting from anyway, Walking Dead. Hell no. <laughs> hell no. Because Merlin even said, uh, you know, 
like you're kidding yourself if you think that your relationship with uh, with the canary mean like isn't gonna disqualify you from taking your father's place. Like it, it, this oh, is going yeah, yeah, to happen. Yeah, yeah. Like what's going to happen is you are not gonna get that spot right. because of that relationship. Right, but because I'm, he didn't I mean, of it. and I get that uh, clearly Arrow uh, in this series is Batman. I mean, we've, yeah. we haven't been delusional totally, to yeah, that totally. at all. And, I mean, listen, I, I still love the Arrow series. Yeah. It's just uh, uh, clearly the creators were like, oh, let's just take everything Batman and make it Arrow. Um, but that Not being everything, said, but yeah. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of the a concepts, lot of a lot of the, um, the way things But that being said... The Arrow Cave. And, you know, <laughs> the, the Arrow Cave. But they are, I mean, they are similar stories if you look at them. They both are billionaires. They both To a point, but... Right. Well, the, 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 the lost their parents is true, yes, but apparently in the original, as you read... Um, they like died saving his life or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, like not mauled, mauled by lions or something. Yeah, like, like not, not, not. They were they had no connection to like the criminal underworld. Right. <laughs> but that being said, I I really just I don't know why, but I just really didn't care like them saying, "Oh, how about if you were the next race?" And then he's like, and if you watch the preview, he's like. Why shouldn't I? Like what? Come on, come on. Come on, like, okay, he, um, like he's gonna debate about it. I'm like, come on, that's not <sighs> happening. That's not gonna happen. He's not gonna be the next rage. That's he's gonna not be harsh, he, man. He's not even gonna debate about it. Let's be serious. He might. Oh, you. So you want me to be this guy that everybody just fears? Like he, well, he's here's done, the thing. He's here's done the thing. with the, the fear. The, part. the logistics behind it is that it, <clears throat> the racial racial goal and the, the the guild is the reason that his sister has become a killer. Right. That his you know, one of his loves is dead. Right. Like that so, all, his, you know, his and one of his de- worst enemies is his best friend's dad, which killed his son. Who, yeah, who was trained by them. So, Legit. like, a lot of a lot of his personal <laughs> tragedies have been because of the the league and right. it was the League of Shadows, the League of Assassins. In this one, I always forget. Uh, anyway, the league, the league of the something league. dark. <laughs> and uh, oh, I can't remember which one it is now. I think it's League of Shadows. Um, yeah, probably. But like, or assassins. Whatever, <laughs> and it's just like a lot of a lot of his personal tragedies are, are tied to it. So I don't think he's gonna. Well, no, I, I don't, I, think, I don't he think he would, and I don't think he's gonna give it too much. No, thought. but I, I the only problem I have with it is that they're like they're gonna play it off as like this episode he's really gonna debate about it, and I'm like, come on, let's be serious. If you just take an account, he's not gonna debate because if he was gonna debate about it, he might have just stayed the murderous Green Arrow that he was from season one, because that's basically what he was doing. He was being. He was being fierce. It's true, but, he, but he, here's here's what they might they they might end up playing out is because they're gonna change the costume, they're gonna call him Green That's Arrow, right. That's right. And they're changing it to Star City. He's gonna have to have something really defining to change him. So this might be it. He might even okay. try running it for a couple weeks and then it fails miserably. And right. then he's like, no, 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 no. I gotta be a shining beacon. I'm gonna wear an even brighter suit. I just <laughs> hope they figure out the whole mask thing under the hood because clearly. Uh, the the captain now chief whatever he is Cap- yeah captain Lance. he he was like what you think because you're wearing yeah. <laughs> like I've seen you in a red hoodie just you threw a mask on doesn't mean you're like any more disguised <laughs> so clearly that and that's why I'm like well if you figure that out that quickly you've been front face to face with the arrow a but few he always times. has his voice thing on and he does keep looking down right he always looks down he's got I don't know. Plus, and the, he's accused Oliver a couple times, and both times right. he he was able to be like, "I am Oliver, and look, Green Arrow's over here." Or I guess the Arrow that's or whatever, that's the true. Jelani. That's true. So he's always been able to like offset that 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 blame. So which always, like I said before, always reminds me of Batman and Superman filling in for each other. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! <laughs> it's just great how Kid keeps going to that. But yeah, I mean, I still enjoyed this episode. I can't wait to see what happens in this. Two after this two three week hiatus three weeks I think um, but two, yeah I can't two, wait to see two. how maybe maybe I'm wrong maybe they won't like stretch it and maybe be like no the answer yeah no like, <laughs> actually just in the first five minutes is like why shouldn't I he's like well there's lots of reasons no I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> so we'll we'll see but otherwise I I enjoyed that so I thought yeah. it was fun I'm glad they're doing the whole secret identity with Adam because just I mean clearly. If if the city knew who Arrow was, he'd probably be arrested right now. It's, yeah, mean, but I think kinda... I think that's gonna be the difference. I think the difference is gonna be because even in the comics, Ray Palmer is known as the Atom. Oh, okay. He just happens to be a, a brilliant guy. Gotcha. Uh, so people know him as Professor Palmer. Right. 
oh, who happens to be the Adam? Oh, gotcha. Um, I didn't know now, that. Now, granted, that's know. in a universe where there's just tons more heroes sure. that are, I think, more entertaining to people. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, you got Superman fr flying <laughs> around. You got Batman yeah. is the great myth. Like, oh, the Adam. Like, oh, the Adam. <laughs> Um, so I think it's going to be a little different here, but at the same time, I think there's going to be something to be said about him landing in front of uh, Captain Lance, popping open the mask and being like, nice to meet you. you yeah, know, that's I'm true. I'm Adam, I'm here to help. I just, my biggest thing is I want to see that happen. I want to see him finally get involved as the Adam and then, um, like I said, I really don't care about them debating if he's going to be Raish. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching the show, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button below. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out t3gtech.com. One of these days, I'll get to finishing that up. I mean, and you can still visit it on a computer. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, check out Facebook. We still have our contest going on. If you get us to 100 likes, we're giving away that head, the headphones and the router. And, uh, yeah, Instagram, Twitter, all that good stuff. Uh, as always, I have been Cerebro. Full throttle. Signing off.